Hi and welcome to this video from CHD. Just going to be having a look at our network video recorder on a few other settings and a few other menus. Uh, this will be uh, the second or third video on this recorder. Just going to go down here to install. Okay, so it's popped up here. I prompted it in the uh, in the thing. I'm going to install it. Yes. So it's a nice, um, nice menu um, that we're having a look at. Uh, very professional imaging uh, quite user friendly and we can restrict what we need to restrict if this is going into an environment um, uh, you know like a security room or a security office so I just want to point out what I've noticed is I've got two cameras um, there's only a couple of IP cameras systems that, uh, cameras that we've got on this network here but here we can see some footage and here we can't see some footage it does have an IP address here so it is recognizing a camera and it's recognizing another camera here now what we need to do when that happens is the cameras are set uh, for different uh, resolutions so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into that IP address there And I might just bring up the other one too, which is 100. I'll just do that one while that one's loading. Let me go back to that one. computer's doing a few things at the moment so that's probably the reason why it's laggy I'm encoding a video and got other things going on okay that one didn't go through that one went offline what about that one okay, I might just might just shut these down for the moment just having a heart attack Okay, I've just restarted uh, Internet Explorer and we're going to just continue on with this uh, video here. So it says 103 and 100. I've just done a, uh, a scan using the CD that comes with the cameras and just done a scan and I found that the address is actually 107 on one of the cameras and 125 on the other cameras. So now I know that address, I'll just, just go stop here. I can open up that and hopefully this will work. Uh, what was it? 107? Okay, so that's good. Happy to see that. And install a plugin. The password is 123456. I'm going to go back here to configuration. I'm going to do a network scan, certain LAN scan. And uh, okay, so we've got those IP addresses there. So let's do a search. While that's loading, I'll go back to here. I'll go into media and encoding. Okay, so this one's set at 1080p, which is great. And the other one we were looking at, um, just jump out of there, is 125. 
go back up there let's have a look at that So what I'm looking for here is uh, what the camera is actually set at, what, uh, how many megapixels the camera. Okay, so this is set for three megapixels. So that will work fine with the recorder. If I set it for five megapixels, it it will. Um, I might just do that now. Actually, save that. Okay, jump out of there. Quit that. Yep. Go. Go and I will do let's do another land search double click on the pencil choose the camera that you want it to be three back to IPC okay so channel 1 I need a password channel 2 is already there great channel 3 is there as well great save it all Now with the also the menu you can if you're setting it up for the first time where you put all your cameras there you'll do use the other software put your IP addresses there uh, you can also use this copy button so if you've got similar it will save the information just saves you a bit of time all right let's go back to preview okay so we've got our cameras are up IP addresses are changed and that I think was the five megapixel uh, camera slightly out of focus and the rest of them are 1080 also you can notice here that there's there's not a lot of lag you know um, you can see my my lips moving and most people can actually recognize what I'm saying so you're seeing this uh, live it could be focused up a little bit more I'll just put my hand there you move your hand around a lot of the time you'll see it stop stop and keep going so you can see that the recorder is handling this quite well I'm just stopping now I'm gonna go really fast see that slight lag when I do it yeah, that's 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 pretty good for an IP camera. Now you can see my voice, and you know everything's working pretty well. Just a bit of a focus up would be good. Alrighty, yeah, let's go back to the main screen. Uh, that one really does need a bit of a focus. is a little bit hazy. Uh, so I'll keep talking. Watch my lips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see that slight little bit of lag there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's a roughly about a, you know, just uh, maybe a second delay or something like that. That's pretty normal with IP cameras, but most of the time you, you don't get it that quick. So if we load the system up, it might be just a fraction uh, longer. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Now playback, three, four camera, we don't have four, search, okay we've got a little bit of footage here, you can see just there on camera one, blue line, Alright, that's um, that's it for this video. Go through a few more screens actually. To show you. I might just do another video. Great, thanks for watching and um, 
you can always check it out on our website which is uh, chd.com.au that's S -double -E HD so it basically means C high definition um, obviously that's what we're selling high definition cameras dot com dot au thanks for watching